Have soccer fans ever thought about how weird and boring team names are? I mean, pretty quickly into researching the different teams and names, I was just blown away with how bizarre the team names are. Real Madrid? As if there's a fake Madrid? Manchester United? Are they normally separated? Oh, and Liverpool, because that's an attractive team name. For those of you who saw my last video, you would know that I did a very in-depth and thorough investigation into the different professional soccer. And based on that research, selected the league that I'll be following. If you haven't had a chance to check out that video, click the link somewhere up there and check it out. Ultimately though, I decided to pick the objectively best soccer league, Serie A. No, God, please, no, no, no! which I'm now realizing I mispronounced the entirety of my last video. However, before I'm able to pick a team, I need to answer one question. What does Serie A mean? And honestly, the answer to that question is pretty simple. The word Serie A basically stands for division, series, or league. All those are fairly interchangeable from what I read. The most important part of that entire word, Serie A, is the letter part next to the word Serie A. The A in this case stands for the talent level in the league, A being the best. There are also Serie A B, Serie A C, and even Serie A D. And no, I'm not mispronouncing the letter part of the league name. That's how you say those letters in Italian, because they're in Italy. Educate yourselves. But anyway, with that question out of the way, let's move on to picking a favorite team from Serie A. The selection pool that I'll be picking a team from is actually pretty small. Serie A, and most other professional soccer leagues around the world, comprises 20 teams. Some unfortunate few would actually argue 20 teams is the satisfying size, and maybe even a little too big. However, this flight size selection of teams does not protect Serie A from having a heavy imbalance of power similar to all of our other soccer leagues. Those teams that are not able to perform to a satisfactory level are demoted to a lower league. For Serie A, that means three unfortunate teams will get sent to the gulags. survive you earn your freedom and from those same gulags three of the best teams from Serie B are promoted to the majors leading us to our first round of team eliminations while I am wildly impressed that those three teams were able to escape the shadow realm that is known as Serie B it's not enough to pique my interest ultimately it's very likely that those three teams will get pimp slapped back into place by the Serie A regulars leaving them nothing but a brisk walk back to Serie B and for this reason alone Lecce, Cremonese and Monza are all out of the running now as I I said earlier, the team names in soccer are rather different than the names in the US. My issue with this is that the team names are not very appealing, so this next round of eliminations is going to be fairly unjustified. I mean, why can't the team names be more menacing like over here in the United States? Something that instills terror and fear in the enemy, like the New Orleans Pelicans terrors to small fishes in the swamp, the Green Bay Packers, the mighty meat and cheese packaging employees of Wisconsin, or maybe the Boston Red Sox, America's angriest and most disappointed dry cleaning clientele. Remember kids, don't mix your white clothes and your color clothes or they're gonna bleed. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, the MLS managed to mess up the team names as well. The New York team, the New York Red Bulls, decided to name their team after an energy drink, showing us that America's capitalist greed knows no boundaries. So in an absolutely awkward display of my shallow personality, the following teams are going to be eliminated from contention. Bologna, for being named after the worst packaged meat. Hellas Verona, because there's a chance that I could get shadow banned for cursing on my channel. Empoli, just because it sounds funny. These four since I can't seem to figure out how to pronounce them. And lastly, Spezia, because I especially don't care for their team name. This next round of eliminations might be our easiest yet. Similar to the unfortunate fans of NBA teams like the Wizards, the Trailblazers, and the Timberwolves, there's no worse fate than being in the mid-range. Not good enough to be a real contender, not good enough to embrace the fears that accompany relegation. Watching a team from this tier is utter misery. A misery that I desperately not want to subject upon myself. Fiorentino, Atalanta, and Torino are nothing short but the embodiment of this misery, and as such are being eliminated. Standing opposite to relegation on the talent spectrum are the elites. Teams that year in and year out wreak havoc on the weak. Sure, picking a team from here is a safe bet. Even if they have an off year or two, their legacy alone will slingshot them back into start. I'm sure that a large majority of you would have guessed I'd pick my team from here. But picking a team from the elites is nothing short of a cowardly move. Oh! 
How can anyone claiming to be a real sports fan take pride in a league title when they never had to suffer through the dark ages? It's those dark times that create a meaningful bond between franchise and fan. A bond so strong that you'll miserably watch 82 games of Hassan Whiteside and Goran Dragic in the hopes that you'll get to watch a single season of the Jimmy Butler era that regardless will ultimately break your heart season after season. That's the type of bond that I'm looking for in my soccer team. So get those bandwagon teams, Juventus, AC Milan and Inter Milan out of my face and make some room for those Cinderella teams because this ball is about to begin. And then there were three, Napoli, Roma and Lazio, to which I will rather anticlimactically eliminate Lazio from. So then there were two. Wow, that was sudden, right? Well, in my eyes, that's because Lazio is the other Rome team. If they can't secure the bag by naming their team after the city that they're from similar to every other soccer team, then unfortunately they don't get to secure me. Adio Lazio. Now, taking a look at our next chart, it's fairly obvious that Roma and Napoli are pretty evenly matched. Napoli has two league titles compared to Roma's three league titles. Napoli has eight Italian cups compared to Roma's 11 Italian cups. And Napoli has a UEFA League title, which is significantly more valuable to Roma's European League title. And even looking at last season alone, Napoli placed third in Serie A, while Roma actually only managed to place sixth. However, simply comparing these two teams from their accolades will not draw the conclusion that everyone is hoping. Because my mind is actually already made up. You see, about a month ago, I saw a TikTok of one of the very few soccer players that I knew growing up. And in that video, I saw Paolo Dybala standing in front of thousands of fans in the Eternal City chanting and cheering for him as he peacefully took in the moment. And that's when I knew that I'd be following Roma. Hold up a second. What on earth is that logo? I mean, the colors are fire, but is that supposed to be a rhinoceros breastfeeding toddlers? There's no way that's actually the real logo. I mean, how can that be allowed? Could you seriously imagine walking around the streets of Italy sporting that logo on your shirt? Thank you all for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the process of me picking the team that I'd be following this year. To Napoli, you came close to being the favorite team, but unfortunately you didn't have a single player I knew. Although in fairness to Napoli, the Roma logo is so repulsive that I might actually still switch. To Lazio, you never really had a chance, I'm not gonna shoot. To the teams that methodically escaped from relegation, see you in the gulags next year. Lastly, to the bandwagon elites, answer me this. What was it like to be voted most likely to suck eggs in high school? That you, Squidward Tentacles, voted most likely to suck eggs in high school?